Last Thursday, I went and saw Avenue Q at the Pantages Theater with a couple friends. Bailey's already seen it, so she didn't come see it with me. It's It was here from March 1st to March 6th, so it closes tomorrow, unfortunately. Short run. Here we go, Avenue Q. So it opened on Broadway in 2003, and in 2004, it won three Tony Awards, including Best Musical, Best Book of Musical, and Best Original Score. And it's still on Broadway, and that's making it one of the longest-running shows in Broadway history. So basically... It's like a must-see show. I went into the show already knowing the music and already loving the music, but once you know you see everything being put together, it's really magical and great. It's just a really relaxed and funny show that everyone can enjoy. One thing I really liked about the show was how they incorporated visuals into it. They had two TV screens on each side of the stage and the cast members would sometimes like interact and look at it. And the TVs would have like little videos that were like their versions of Sesame Street which was just really funny and I always think that you know adding that extra component you know that extra visual always makes a huge difference in shows and it just makes it more more interaction and I think it's great. Another thing I really liked was the message the show left me with and I mean the, the way I took it at least I took it as life can suck but you need to get used to it and you have to trust that it's gonna get better and I don't know I just really like that because I think that you know a lot of people are like life sucks. And you know what? It does. So <laughs> I really liked that. The cast was great. It was just like a really amazing to see people acting and singing in different Muppet voices, like totally different characters, different Muppets, two people, one person playing two different Muppets and like how they can go from singing like the sweet innocent person to a slut and like being able to sing and act like that. It's just incredible. It just shows how good they are. I would say that the only cast member who didn't impress me was Anita Welch, and she played Gary Coleman. I just think that the way she portrayed the character just seemed like a little flat and boring for me, but I mean, she had a really good voice, so I mean, it was fine. The two people that did actually stand out to me the most were Ashley Eileen Bucknam, who played Kate Monster and Lucy the Slut, and Michael Lissio Jr., who played Nikki and Trekkie the Monster in One of the Bears. They were just really great because I think their characters, the two Muppets, two or three Muppets they played, were completely different from each other and just seeing them like switch like that was amazing. But I mean, like I said, everyone was great. Unfortunately, like I said, it had a short run. It's leaving tomorrow, but I'll post the tour website below so you can see what it's going to be at a theater near you. And next, Bailey and I are going to be seeing Beauty and the Beast, which is also at the Pantages. It's going to be there from March 9th to 26th. All right, that is all. Goodbye.